Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for another episode of Stu Does America. Yes, that's the real name of Stu's show on The Blaze. Stu is, of course, the guy that um, I uh, apparently plumps up for uh, Glenn's show and then loses weight for his own show. I don't know what's happening here. I don't know if he just is deflated or if just suits cut well to make, or he doesn't look good in flannel. I don't know what it's at. But anyways... This is, it's time for the Seer of Sears, the Prognosticator of Prognosticators, the Punxsutawney Phils of uh, runner-up KFC mascots, Glenn Beck, with Glenn Beck's scary 2022 pre predictions. Ah, uh, it's going to be, come on now. I'm so excited, aren't you? It's, it's going to be, um, I, I'm worried, so are you. And, the, and by the way, not only is he going to nail it because, uh, oh, my headphones just disconnected. Why did my headphones just disconnect? But thanks for telling me. All right. Wake back up because I don't know if I'll be able to hear if I do this. Hold on. All right. Let's look forward here. 2022. We uh, hear that Build Back Better uh, may be shelved until next year. Uh -huh. Yeah. By the way, who told you it would probably be spring? Huh? Who? Who, t who told you? Who told you on my show and on Stuttering John's show like six times? Who told you that the the stunt to hold it, at, you know, hold the infrastructure bill hostage wouldn't work and would end up end up just killing the infrastructure bill? Because to hell with it. Because the same people who want to kill Build Back Better don't care about the infrastructure bill. It'd be nice, but they're not sold on it being a necessity at all. Who? Who told you? Who told you that? This guy. All right. What are the most important things we need to look out for? What's the most important thing we need to be build trying back better. to do? Well, yes. Okay. Yeah. Build back better. Uh, I think that bill is going to be shelved, maybe. Um, I mean, that's what they're saying. But uh, th that has, you know, that has too many uh, pieces to finish mm -hmm. what they're started. If they don't pass those things, if they don't get those things in, they can't do their Green New Deal garbage. Right. No. <laughs> First of all, uh, the climate stuff that's in the Build Back Better plan was already started in the rescue package and in the infrastructure bill. A good portion of it is already in there. The infrastructure bill itself has the smart grid, has the solar panel stuff, has the electric car uh, charging stations across the country. He's, he's talking out of his ass. <laughs> they're not going to let those things sit on a shelf. I think that's going to like the elf be unpacked and gutted and buried in a bunch of other little bills. He thinks it's going to be cut up. What's going to happen more than likely is the child income tax uh, credit, uh, the, the child tax credit is going to be um, uh, pulled out and means tested um, or put in a separate bill altogether. And the Democrats won't have a problem selling that on its own anyways even though Manchin that's one of the things he wants left out there because the people in his state he fears again you've seen these articles where he supposedly thinks they're all going to snort it and if you've seen the what uh, the uh wonderful whites of west virginia you can see why he thinks that it's the uh, look at the education system look at the poverty in his state and it's a it's been a downward spiral they he doesn't recognize that this might help stop that spiral he thinks it will contribute to that spiral that's his belief system about it you can argue with him about it but that's what he really thinks it's not just that he's got coal money or something. That's all bullshit. It's a, it's a minor player in why he's doing this. But the Build Back Better plan can pass without that in it because that's his big hang-up. And the child in, the the child uh, tax credit can actually be passed on its own with with Republicans ultimately because it's it's considered helpful. And again, it's a tax credit. You don't. It's given to you against taxes you will or would pay. And you'll pass something that'll be, you know, for children. With oh, it's this, he's doing a cute voice because he's mocking the idea that Democrats give a fuck about kids. Because we're the ones that, you know, want to give a woman a choice as to whether she has a child. And then if she does choose to have the child, we would like uh, that child uh, to have at least access to one nutritious meal a day, if not two, and a good education. I don't know. Fuck us, right? Faces. We're going to get them noses. Oh, and this communist. 
What, children without faces, we're going to get them noses. ...of other little bills, and you'll pass something that'll be, you know, for children without faces, we're going to get them noses. Oh, and this communist piece, <laughs> this plank is hidden. Yeah, it's so funny. Like, they're going to bury in the get kids free noses. I mean, and by the way, I, I, if you get a kid without a face, a free nose, how's he ever going to pull himself up by his bootstraps? You know what I mean? What do you just teach? Well, if, you know, give a man a nose and he sniffs for a, a day. Teach a man to f forge his own nose out of what the fuck are you talking about, Beck? Inside of that. Yeah. Um, uh, so the the thing that we have to watch for is uh, anger. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. That, uh, perhaps one of the days we might want to watch for that anger is on January 6th when uh, the former guy is going to have his little dipshit gathering. And uh, on well, he's just having a he's having a press conference from Mar-a-Lago. Um, the um, Psst, Glenn, it's Stu's show. Try to be a good guest in a positive way. Okay, is this is this too low? I don't know. Let's see. The backing off of COVID. I think COVID might just fade away. Mm. Yeah, it might just fade away. Um, yeah, it probably will after everyone's been vaccinated, uh, that's going to get vaccinated and anybody who isn't will just, uh, limp through life with long COVID or, or fucking die. It's, it's going to kind of eat into those, uh, those MAGA numbers coming around, coming in 2022 though. You know, it'll always be with us, but I think people are starting to stand up. Uh, and yes, yes. We're going to protest against a disease. You know, that's the pro That's why polio did all the damage it did, is because people didn't take to the streets. Except the ones that did, when they got it, told everybody to get vaccinated. I think it's, I think it might. I think you're boring as fuck, Glenn. Just kind of come to a place. It's either going to get really bad, really, really bad, um, and the virus just becomes Ebola. Right. Or it's just going to go Seems away unlikely. and everybody is just going to say, enough is enough. Yeah, I think I yeah that's, that's, that's basically the two choices you have. Or it could be a rolling pain in the ass where a bunch of unvaccinated assholes clog up the goddamn hospitals and everybody who has a stroke or a heart attack or a car accident has no place to go. <laughs> when we talked about this a little bit, I think, on radio, but there was a, uh, a friend of mine. What? You're repeating yourself? <laughs> Who could have thought? Uh, by the way, nice cards, Stu. It's, it's got Stu Does America on there, and it just looks like a weird, like, odd smiley face uh, with, you know, a toothless smiley face and weird glasses. I hadn't seen it in a with a patch time. over one eye. Time, and she's from New York City, and she, I don't think she's a conservative or anything. We don't, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I was so drunk. She was so drunk. Who knows? Talk politics, but it was her tone was very much like mocking the people who are walking around outside with masks still. Like, I think that's penetrated beyond the crazy. Stu, don't bring up penetration with a woman you just met in a bar. It's too, you're moving too fast. Uh, conservatives. It does look like Doug Benson in an alter, you know, alt universe. Uh, Doug Benson, if you need a character to do, a stoned version of Stu would be hilarious. And all of us evil people over here on the right that, you know, care oh. about individual rights. I think it's really. No, you don't. Stu doesn't care about individual rights. Stu, uh, Stu cares about the uh, dis total disregard for other lives. It's not even about his own life. Because if it was, you'd go, I, I get vaccinated, but I'm not going to care somebody else does because i'm taking care of myself that would be the individual rights part of it. if you're getting it, it you know if you're not getting the vaccine and you don't give a fuck if you spread it because you think you're just going to get minor you know minor uh symptoms and live through it then that's that's a total disregard for other people's lives not a selfish support of your own everybody now i think people are are really tired of it unless you're in those inner circles well, think about this too that you have um it's really a badge. It's a it's a label that you are putting on your own face. 
And when this goes back, because I really truly believe the left is on the wrong side of history, it's going to correct itself. It's only a matter of time. Yeah, yeah. That's we're on the we're on this whole you know we're on the side of vaccines and uh, and you know protecting as many people even if we disagree with them as possible. It's the wrong side of history, really. When you're remembered for that badge, you're going to look like an idiot. You know, uh, if it got to a place to where it was really. Um, trying to kill freedom, you're going to be looked at as somebody who was way on the wrong side. Yeah, this is a great conversation. Way to way to nail it down. If if it ever gets to the point where history looks at people getting vaccinated as the murderers of freedom, you're going to boy, you know, you're going to be on the wrong side. That's, I mean, you're going to get a check next to your name in the book of history. But I, I think, I think the tide is turning. Um, now, I know this is one of your most, your favorite parts of the week, coming over here and doing the show. Uh, I'm, I'm looking at his face, and uh, Stu, I, I'm going to have to go with no. I, 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 his immediate reaction tells me that this is a uh, painful obligation, that uh, he gave you a show in lieu of more cash on his show. And uh, to draw any people to it at all, you have to show up once a week and blather on it. Wednesdays, a big part of your, uh, big, I know, a big part of your planning uh, every week. You get yeah. prepared for it. I'm missing, uh, I'm missing time with my daughter right now, so hurry up. Um, if we were to advance, let's say, um, a year. Hey, asshole, if you're going to be sarcastic and make a joke about it, um, you have to actually... You have to actually make the analogy or the the joke uh, way that you're going to spend time um, hilarious and exaggerated, not simply say um, you're, you've got to spend time with your daughter. It has to be something like, you know, um, you know, my dog needs his glands expressed. Can you we wrap this up? I need to get to something I really care about and enjoy, Stu, that kind of thing. But unless... We all just found out collectively that that is a joke to Glenn and that spending time with his daughter to him is the equivalent of expressing his dog's anal glands. And we're doing this interview a year from now, God which I know we're going to be doing weekly until then. Uh, it's a Wednesday. I'd throw myself from the highest point of this. We're a few weeks after. Four. Highest building something. I mean, the, I, I, I don't want to interrupt the improv. This is sweet. This is like, whose frigging line is it anyways, Stu? Story's up. We're a few weeks after the election. What does this country look like? What does the economy look like? What are the election results? Get yeah, tell us. Tell us. Is it all on fire? Because right now you, you, you've told us that the country is being destroyed and is destroyed and is going to be destroyed and is still being destroyed and is in an ongoing state of constantly being destroyed. What A year from now, it can't be slightly less than destroyed Give me a preview of the future after the yeah. midterms yep yeah any time now you know what i mean this is uh i'm sorry it, 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 did, are they supposed to play cue the magic music the republican republicans get the house and they get the senate yeah to help them out Stu. get tee them up so this time next year mm-hmm uh, yes, that, that's what he said. After the midterms, which would be about this time next year, would be after November of fucking hell. Um, I think the economy is, I don't know, Stu. Uh, Jesus Christ. Well, I'm glad we're all, we're all gathered around. I, please pontificate, oh pontificator. If they sober up, which they might be doing, um, uh, it, it, it'll be... Hey, uh, hey, Bob, uh, you don't fucking know what you're talking about because you're lying about way, the way things are now. This is, By the way, this is how you know that Glenn, why Glenn Beck has been looking at the ceiling lately and gesturing like this. We've been, I don't, it, like, leading up to this clip, have we not been seeing just Glenn constantly doing this, like, uh, uh, what I'm... Uh, and the reason is because he he does not know. I, I like he. You actually have to study and give a shit, and uh, clearly neither is happening. More of this. I don't. 
It's like, he's like the David Brent of economic prognosticators. What do you, what you got going on right now? Uh, more of these? Yeah, but what you got coming up? Uh, you know, fun run, more of these? Know if they're going to sober up, though. If they keep going down this path and try... What's this path? Explain the path, dum-dum. ...to destroy America. Oh, okay, the path. I'm sorry, it was my mistake. Of course, it's the path to destroy America. I, I see. I'm, I'm curious, is that on a scroll? Or do they stare into a gem and it speaks how the plan into their head? And America lets them. Yeah, that's the thing. America lets them. They are Americans themselves, but America is a, like... What do you mean, like, the, the Statue of Liberty is going to just punch him in the dick? Hi, Amy. Um, inflation's going to be really bad. <laughs> Jesus fucking... Or deflation. Um, <laughs> we could be seeing the rumblings of war, if not war. Um, I don't... <laughs> this is like the most boring reading of the Bible. And uh, there will be wars and maybe, I don't know, rumors of wars. Uh, and there will be rumors of people, of, of things going astray. And, and, and children, uh, a friend will lose his friend's hammer and children will not know where lies the things of their fathers that they left there just the night before, around eight o'clock. It has sort of a rapier work attachment. I don't know about China and Russia. Those are two wild cards that... <laughs> fucking hell. Tell us any detail you do know, because you don't fucking know anything other than their... Uh, tell, just say where they're eating our lunch and just go back to reset. Might play, because <laughs> they've got three years to play in that sandbox, and a lot of damage could be done. Uh... What? <laughs> I think the Republicans do win. I think they sweep. Um, yeah, you got to start giving them some good news. And I think there might even be a birth of a new Republican Party. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, it'll be a it, it'll be a C-section. But, you know, that, at least that's where the seats are, because there's a lot of unsold seats in the C-section of of Trump and O'Reilly's <laughs> show. No, huh. will you show up for this interview in a year? No. What, what's your prediction? On no, that? not even. Not even. No. What about? I mean, early maybe January. We pick this back up. This no, is you'll be. I mean, you'll be gone by this gen. I mean, I, I don't. What was that? I don't even know what that means. I it, it I, I I think what this show needs, and if I'm if I may, uh, Glenn and Stu, what I think this show needs is an audience. Because watching them walk out might help you craft a better show. Uh, Glenn Beck, executive producer of this program. So he has a vested interest in its success. Um, this is, uh, that's what my dad does when anything sucks. If we go see a live show, my dad goes, in the, and uh, he's done that during plays, during very dramatic moments. And uh, <laughs> this was this was supposed to be in between the jokes about uh, Stu being lame and Glenn just being on his show, even though exec produces it and is taking up or wasting time. I have never seen another guest on Stu's show. Um, yes, yes. Glenn looks like he works at Home Depot, and uh, and Stu looks like he's going as Mr. Plum. It, the the unknown reservoir dogs character um this it, it like in between this i hate your dad already yes he is very funny <laughs> what a waste of time that's amazing 